It is so, so important that you have a communication protocol set up for your team or your organization. And I don't mean that nearly as formal or as stuffy as it sounds. What I mean is that you need some sort of guidelines or rules of thumb that help people understand the who, what, how, when of everyday communication. For example, my team is entirely remote. We work in different states and across different time zones, so we communicate mostly by email. We also text. I encourage that as our manager. We want to build that rapport. But more than anything, I want them to call me when there is an issue or a question. And sometimes we need to set up a meeting, but typically we can just talk it out over the phone real quick. And I want them to do that because it's more efficient, we're saving time, there's no lost communication. And I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried to troubleshoot something or answer a complex question over email or text, it gets pretty exhausting and frustrating. So I always encourage them to pick up the phone or if it starts to get out of hand, I pick up the phone and I take that initiative. I was actually talking to a healthcare system this morning about their own communication protocols and they have a couple of different systems set up. So for their environmental services team, they have a central dispatch number where a floor tech can call the number and get a hold of their supervisor through page. But there's one supervisor who prefers a more efficient system. So she encourages her team to either text her directly or better yet, set up a group text. And that way her team can work together and communicate over text if something comes up. And she says that 80% of the time, by the time she reads her text message, they've already solved the problem on their own and she's been able to empower them to work together and figure it out without her. Now the facility side, they have a more structured, tiered approach. So for their second and third shifts, there might not be a supervisor on site. There typically isn't. So the first step, is to leave a note or an email if something comes up, especially if it's not an emergency. So maybe you just ran out of a, a part and you need to communicate something for the next shift. So a note is fine. They also have an on-call system. So if you need outside help, call the on-call number and someone will be there to, to help troubleshoot the issue. If a supervisor needs to get involved, then still call the on-call number, but then maybe text your supervisor if the issue starts to escalate. If it starts to get out of hand, just give them a heads up. Hey, this is going on. Why well, I wanted you to know, I might have to call you so we can get this worked out. And then really you're reserving phone calls for true emergencies. So maybe an asset is about to go down or there's a safety issue, something is going on and a supervisor needs to intervene. And that's when you have the phone call. This cuts down on after hour calls for the managers, but it really empowers the team again to work together, communicate and use their resources. And I don't say all of this to give you advice on what your communication protocols should be. That's not what I'm doing. I'm encouraging you to have them, have guidelines in place. People appreciate when they know what to do and what they're doing is correct. So being able to give them that framework really empowers them to make good decisions. Now, I'm sure you have some communication tips that have worked for you, maybe some that haven't. So either way, please share your own experiences down in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Thanks y'all.